Hi, Todd Burns here. I'm going to show you how to force carbonate a keg of beer. So we have uh, finished brewing our beer, put it into a keg, and we've brought it down to about 36 degrees. Uh, colder the better when you're force carbonating without freezing, of course. So what you want to do is go ahead and hook this to the end line. Uh, you can also, it doesn't really matter, you can hook it to the outline too because we're going to be turning it upside down but normally that's a, the disconnect you'd have on there. Now when I'm force carbonating, I like to turn the regulator up to about, oops, sorry, 40, around 45 PSI. Once you've got the regulator going, you'll notice that if I let it bubble a little bit, it'll stop. That's, it's still absorbing CO2, but the CO2 is absorbed much quicker if you agitate it like this. So I just put it on my knees. It can be pretty cold, so some people like to put a towel down. But what I do is just put it on my knees and then rock it back and forth, and you'll hear it. It'll go pretty good. You can hear the CO2 going in there. Uh, what I will typically do is do this for about three minutes. And then I like to check the beer. Uh, you can uh, hook it up to your kegging system, uh, let it settle down for a few minutes, and then check it and see how carbonated it is. It might, it might foam a little more because you've been agitating it, but it doesn't make as big a difference as people think. The most important thing is once you get that beer out, you know, taste it, run it around, and see if, uh, if it feels right to you. I would always err on under carbonating versus over carbonating. So if you're gonna, if it's not carbonated enough after three minutes, and it probably won't be, just do it like another minute, and then maybe go to even 30 seconds after that, 30 seconds to a minute, and when it gets to the point where you feel like, you know, I think that's carbonated enough, then stop, because it's it's once you've carbonated it close to being where you want it just leaving it in the keg at the PSI that you're serving at, will it will continue to carbonate. And since you've done most of the carbonation already, that'll happen pretty quickly. Uh, I like to carbonate my beer to the where I'm gonna serve it at between 10 and 12 PSI, but that can vary a lot depending on the style. So if you're doing something like a stout, you may wanna, you may wanna have that carbonated to where you're gonna serve it at about eight PSI, uh, you say you're doing a real a Belgian beer, you may want to go up to 16 PSI. So it's very much a personal preference. It's just that the more you carbonate it, the harder it is to control foam.